So this week I learned that um, teens sometimes know what's best for them, and sometimes what teens? Teens like teenagers. Okay, you know we used to be one. Heard yeah. of them? Um, and often solitude is the best answer. So there was a study that kind of looked into teens that spend time alone. It was like almost a thousand teens that they were studying, and they found that even though there's a lot of stigma around solitude or being alone, there were certain conditions under which it was actually a really positive trait. And so in general, if um, a, a person or a young person was, uh, how do I say this? Like they, they didn't choose the solitariness or it was like kind of thrust upon them. Then it was associated what, like, with go to your room or just like maybe not having access to peer support groups or friends or things like that. In like that loners? case, yeah. In that case, like being alone was associated with anxiety and depressive symptoms. Yeah. But in contrast, when somebody chose it for intrinsic reasons or okay. because they were self-determined, like it, mom, I'm going my round. Well, okay. You're, you're painting up particular picture but I just mean like even for us like when you're like I want to spend some time alone today like when you kind of take Feel, autonomy of that yeah. and go like I'm, I'm going to be alone I'm going to spend time with myself it's associated with really positive effects um, which included like your well-being um, your personal growth and self-acceptance self-reflection creative expression and spiritual renewal that makes sense my therapist calls it being full filled up full up like sometimes there's those moments where, like, you're around people. Like, for example, we're around people in our office all day. We're around each other all day. Right. And sometimes it it's, like, every single thing that you or someone says to you, like, ticks you off or you're just, like, you – it that it's might be a moment. It's sometimes. Yeah, when right? you need to be alone. It's, like, being aware of when you're fill, full up of In the people. words of Oliver, full up feeling – uh, what? Food Oliver who? Food Oliver Stone? Twist. Oh, Oliver Twist. Okay, <laughs> Mitch was Oliver Twist in the Toronto production of Oliver the Musical when he was younger. Okay, oh, everyone bring it back to the intro. Round musicals. Um, yeah, no, I just thought it was fascinating because, and it, it made me self-reflect. Obviously, this was based on teenagers, but probably applicable to many other people. And that idea that when you are alone, sometimes you feel lonely when it's not really a decision you've made, but not to be afraid of loneliness. Don't yeah. let don't let the sort of stigma around it stop you from saying, like, today I actually am going to spend time alone intentionally. Okay, I'm feeling kind of full up peace. Let's turn this recording off. I'm going to go spend some time alone <laughs> in the corner. Bye.